had an interesting press conference at Alabama just the other day. Jordan Battle, secondary member of the Alabama Crimson Tide, was asked if there were any little quips that he really enjoyed from Nick Saban, and he came out and basically expressed, uh, he said Saban would tell the players, touch these or suck these, and it's a reference to these nuts, which I'm sure anybody that is in my age group knows exactly what that is. It's a long-running joke since I was in high school. Uh, I am now 38 years old. I'm 20 years removed from high school. I still remember all of this. It's it's pretty comical. It's pretty comical. And Lane Kiffin, of all people, decided to jump in on it. Nick Geddes over at OutKick actually talked about it. Uh, he said, Lane Kiffin offers origin story of Nick Saban and D's nuts jokes, which <laughs> it's, I cannot believe this is an actual topic, but here we go. It said, Nick Saban loves telling D's nuts jokes. Yes, that's a real headline. The uptight Alabama head football coach uses it all the time, according to Ole Miss head football coach Lane Kiffin. Uh, Kiffin told Joseph Goodman, or, or said it in a press conference, he said that Marlon Humphrey, who is now starting cornerback for the Baltimore Ravens, introduced Saban to the jokes, and Saban took it from there. Joseph Goodman's tweet said, D's nuts are a process. It is. It really is. And... And Marlon Humphrey commented, and all he said was, yeah, me and Coach Saban go way back. But this is this is pretty funny. Uh, Humphrey said, Saban's a good jokester. I guess I'm just happy I left my mark. How incredible is it? Like, this is more proof that this buttoned-up, screaming typewad that, that the majority of the public sees that coaches at Alabama is not the same guy that he is around his players. There's a reason the players that go to Alabama love him, and they continue to come back to the university game after year after year after game over and over and over. Anytime Alabama plays in a big-time spot, you see a ton of current and former NFL players standing on that sideline. It's because they enjoy coming back. They are welcomed back because they understand Coach, while he is all business in the middle of a game, he loves his players, and he has fun with them. He is He's an entertaining guy, but this is more proof of that. More proof of that. I don't think that we will see Jordan Battle doing many more Q&As at press conferences uh, because <laughs> I, I can't imagine what that conversation was like after that press conference. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.